Hello and welcome to Brenton Pack Expo Connects. My name is Jason Aniga. I'm the industry sales manager for Brenton's integrated medical systems. What is line integration? We at Brenton feel it's the task of taking all the individual unit operations that comprise a packaging line and put them together into a seamless integrated solution that meets our customers' needs. Our sales team has a deep understanding of what it takes to consult and coach a customer through that process. This allows us to develop the solution that they need. Next, we'll talk about the few key elements that make an integrated lineup. So joining me now is uh, Devin Hutchins. He's the manager of our project management department. Hey, everyone. And uh, we wanted to talk through some of the key bullet points that we feel um, why customers choose us as an end-of-line integrator. Um, one of them is the scale of our, our organization and the expertise that we have in this organization. Um, we have over 200,000 square feet in this facility uh, that we can set up large scale lines uh, all the way from you know, the filling line all the way to the, uh, to the palletizing uh, um, and stretch wrapping end of the line. Um, we set all those, uh, those full lines up here and we have the staff and expertise to, um, to test those lines out in the, in the way that we um, need to for, to fulfill a customer's full line FAT. Um, the other thing that, uh, that is unique about Brenton uh, as an integrator is we manufacture um, a wide breadth of that, uh, the product line here in the building. Um, from cartoning, case backing, palletizing, to stretch wrapping is all manufactured right here in, at Brenton. Um, and customers really um, like that because uh, we have expertise um, through all that, all that product offering. Um, the other thing that we do, and Devin will talk a little bit more about this, is the uh, integration of the ancillary equipment, whether it's check wires, labelers, things like that. Um, so with that, I'll hand that over to, to Devin. Right, so one of the biggest advantages of purchasing an end-of-line integrated solution with Promoc is the project management that comes with it. Um, customers can leverage our project management team in uh, one point of contact for the whole line. They don't have to reach out to 15 different vendors, 15 different contracts. Right. It's all just one point of contact. Um, you know, we take care of all of the FATs on any OEM equipment. Um, we really reduce the risk to the customer by executing those FATs not only in the OEM facility, but also once it comes to our facility and integrating everything together. Uh, it really helps reduce that startup curve in the field because everything's already been tested out, right. vetted out, and we know it functions the way it, were, it should. Yeah, we, we actually embrace the risk um, uh, management of, of uh, those full lines. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of other companies don't want to accept those risks and, and we feel we have a, a solid project management team that can uh, mitigate a lot of those risks as we go through the project. So um, buying other people's equipment, other companies' equipment, bringing it into our facility and integrating it, um, that's, that's uh, um, it was very comfortable for us to do. And now I'd like to introduce you to Rick Sprawls. He's one of our senior applications engineers and he's going to walk you through several applications that we've done for integrated solutions. Thank you, Jason. My name is Rick Sprawls, and I am a senior applications engineer at Brenton Engineering. Today, we're going to look at a few of our ProMac integrated solutions. The first one we're going to look at is for a medical kit manufacturer. The goal of this customer was to automate the assembly of a kit that was comprised of 12 components. The first item was a base tray. Many of the other items fit into this base tray. They would either sit in a pocket or snap into a cavity. Once all of these items were placed in the tray, uh, it was inserted in a bag. The bag would then be placed into a carton. The carton would have to be sealed, labeled, and finally palletized. Also, all items placed in the kit had to be verified. This meant that there was a second check to ensure that all items were either properly placed or to verify barcodes to ensure that they were legible. In the end, Brenton was able to provide a quality system utilizing Brenton's custom and standard designs while integrating equipment from our ProMax sister companies, which included a Zulkin capper and ID technology print and apply labelers. Next, we're going to look at a high-speed application for frozen meat patties. The requirement for this project was to take patties from two existing freezer conveyors, then stack and collate the patties to fit into a case. The case was then to be labeled and palletized. The pallet would then be stretch wrapped and sent into the freezer system. This system required stainless steel NEMA 4X construction and had to handle multiple case and patty sizes. To make this happen, Brent and Custom designed a robotic overhead patty loader system where patties would first be coin stacked on a vibratory conveyor bed. Once coin stacked, the patties would be picked out of the conveyor by a Brent and Custom Design Gripper tool. This tool would place the patties into a staging bucket. This process 
would continue until the proper case pattern was formed. Once completed, the erected case would be pushed down over the top of the bucket. The bucket with case would rotate, inverting the case and placing on a takeaway conveyor. This case would then be sealed by a Promac Belcore top sealer, labeled by a Promac ID tech labeler, and sent to a Brenton RP1000 palletizing system. This application is for a medical device customer. The requirements for this solution was to convey packages of syringes from an existing thermal former, properly orientate, and pack into a case. Cases had to be individually labeled and inspected. Finished cases would be stacked in groups and then bundled by shrink wrap. These bundles would then be palletized and the finished pallet labeled. How did Brenton solve it? First, they designed a custom robotic in feed. It included two robots, the first would pick a row of syringes and stack into staging buckets. Once the proper stack count was established, the buckets would advance to the second robot. The second robot would then pick finished stacks out of the single bucket and place into a partially erected case. The cases are erected and sealed by a Brenton standard servo case packer. Sealed cases would then transfer to a third robot where the cases would be stacked and then sent through a Texrap Tecra shrink bundler. The bundle would then travel to a Brenton RP1000 palletizer where a fourth robot would vacuum pick the bundles and place to a pallet. This is another example of how Brenton combines existing proven designs with new and custom ideas to meet the customer's needs. This solution is for a manufacturer of disposable dinnerware. The requirements were to take individual paper plates directly from the customer's plate formers Place them in stacks with a predetermined plate count. The stacks are then placed in a bag and the bag is closed with a tie. These stacks would then be placed to a pallet with tear sheet between each layer. Brenton and Shuttleworth, both ProMac companies, worked together to provide a quality solution. Shuttleworth utilized its low friction conveyor to convey and stack the plates. Brenton provided a robotic palletizer with two integrated Orion stretch wrappers. The end of arm tool was a custom design that clamped around the perimeter of the paper plate stack. This design did not compromise the integrity of the bag or damage the plates. This application shows how ProMac companies work together to provide the right solution to a problem. Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about our factory acceptance testing options here at Brenton. Uh, my name is Devin Hutchins, I oversee the project managers on the robotic side. I'm Kyle Grinniger and I see the, uh, oversee the project management on the uh, case packer side. So, um, different FAT options, um, we have in-person options which is the traditional style of factory acceptance testing. Uh, we also have our virtual uh, factory acceptance testing options. Um, we can do a mixture. Uh, we do multiple camera angles with virtual FAT. Uh, we can do pre-recorded. Um, we have some sampling of a recent virtual FAT we uh, executed. So what we have is a, a multiple angle camera that we recorded on Microsoft Teams. Uh, we do it on multiple platforms. We have Zoom, Microsoft Teams, GoToMeeting, uh, whatever platform the customer needs that their IT department will allow them to utilize in their facility. Um, so we're a very uh, wide variety of media platforms we can execute this on. Um, what you're seeing is a, an actual induced failure testing that we did for a customer just a couple weeks ago. And as we evolve in the process, uh, we'll just continue to get better. That's right. Uh, flexibility is the key in today's age. Um, whether it's in-person FATs with one or two people or a whole team or completely virtual or any combination thereof. And Brenton really knows how to do, do this right. Uh, it's, it's exciting to see and, and having all the different camera angles was fantastic. I was uh, really happy with it, happy to see all the different angles and, and glad that everyone was, was ready and keyed up to go. So as soon as, as, soon as you said go, we were, uh, we were making parts and uh, went really smoothly. So hats off to you and your team for making it run, run so well.